Hey guys, it's your old pal Tana here and welcome back to another studio vlog. Today is Wednesday, February 1st, so this is the month turnover vlog week. This is always a really busy week for me because my like work is set up in monthly cycles, largely because a lot of what I do is for Patreon. And we are turning from the January cycle to the February cycle. The January cycle was the Arctic Critters theme, which you guys saw me working on all last month. That theme was like periwinkle blue, a lot of neutral browns and yellows, but this month we are doing something totally different, which is lunar rabbits, lunar bunnies, if you will. And that theme is very pastel. We've got pink, purple, and blue. And what you saw me working on was yesterday, and that was setting up the photo styling for the reveal of this month's sticker sheet. Here is the final product. I think it turned out really cute, and I am very excited about this theme. It's just decadent in every way. And usually I don't actually have the sticker sheets in hand at the start of the month because I've designed them towards the end of the previous month and I've put the order in between that time. And so what I'll do is I'll use a different sticker sheet from a past month, usually one that has a similar background color to the background color of this, the sheet that is current. And I use that as a stand-in for my photography style it all up, shoot a photo, and then pop it on the computer and edit in the proper sticker sheet as best as I can. It's not flawless, but I think it's convincing enough and it's easier than printing out like a composite sticker sheet and trying to photograph that. So that's the first thing and that is done, posted, revealed. Hopefully people will be on board with the Lunar Bunnies for this month. And then the other two things that I prepared yesterday was I do a poll for my patrons each month so that the next month's theme, they can have some say in what we end up doing for that. And that post will go live tomorrow. And then I have also already recorded my newsletter. I do a podcast newsletter every month as well for my patrons over there. That is recorded, that is out of the way, so I am very pleased to say that I am mostly on track with my schedule this week. I've actually been very busy. Yesterday I worked for like 12 hours because I didn't have anything better to do. And I took a half day on Monday, so I wanted to make up for that. But I will show you uh, the two illustrations that I did yesterday. These are for Emerald City Comic Con slash my upcoming shop drop in March. I had a vlog a few weeks back where I was designing enamel pins that were on the theme of Kitty Cafeteria. So these are sticker sheets that are going to be part of that set. Let me show them off to you here. Beautiful reflecting. I'll pop it up so you can see it a little bit better on the screen, but I did two sheets. One is desserts and dinners. And then the other sheet is breakfast and lunch, which is fun because I feel breakfast has a lot of sweet stuff. Dessert is sweet. So each sheet is half sweet and half savory and people can get both if they want or just one. I'm honestly a little bit torn because I feel that these would probably benefit from having like the breakfast and lunch tag on them so that people understand like that each sheet is different because they look really similar with the color palette, but I do want people to know that they are themed. They can get one, they can get both. I don't know, but I don't want to like take stickers away <laughs> or make them smaller in order to fit that text and information on. So we'll see. I'm going to sleep on it. I don't have to order these until tomorrow because now everyone is back from the Lunar New Year holiday. So I got to get my production going as soon as possible so that I have everything in hand by the end of the month. Apparently it's a busy day and I have a lot to show you. So I also wanted to say that it is Hourly Comics Day, which is a bit of a community event that takes place on February 1st every year where you draw a comic panel or page, whatever you really want to do that's kind of a diary style of your day throughout the day. You do one for every hour of the day. I think this is my fourth year participating, my third year doing it properly. Last year was really fun because I did it from my cat's perspective, but I didn't have a clever idea for, for this year. So it's just going to be diary comics all day. So we'll be working on that in the background. And then the last early month Patreon related thing that I want to focus on this week is I'm going to try something new this year where I'm going to be releasing some print on demand limited edition apparel based on the theme of the month. I just like, I feel like when it comes to Patreon, it gets really repetitive because I'm sort of doing the same thing month on month, which is sort of the point, but at the same time, I wanna keep people engaged and interested in what I'm doing. But this year I want to do these limited edition apparel drops where it's totally optional, but people can um, purchase them made to order and have it be like a monthly themed collectible 
garment. We're gonna give it a try this month. We're gonna hope for the best. But yeah, designing that and getting the mock-ups ready is another thing on this week's list. That's enough from me about that. Let's move on to getting these tasks completed because it's already Wednesday. I am already halfway through my day and I know that time's gonna fly. I also have I'm literally facing my biggest fear <laughs> in this world and I booked a dentist appointment for Friday so I am taking Friday off to be to, to cope with the impending trauma so I want to get as much done before then as I can. I thought I could show you guys a little bit about my process for creating the apparel that I'm gonna create for the exclusive apparel for this month. Um, First of all, let me show you, this is how I plan out my monthly rewards over on Patreon. I have a sticker sheet that I always offer and then I try and give um, four to five additional rewards to my Big Lunch subscribers. The base uh, lunch box would be $10, the Big Lunch is $25, and I try and shake it up month to month. But I basically leave myself room to have like two print related things and then two bonus things and possibly a digital download. Sometimes this is for like everybody, $1 and up, whatever. And then here I have my palette, which is derived from the work I did on the sticker sheet. Over in the corner here, you can see my loose design. What I want to offer is a hoodie and a t-shirt. That way people, if they just want um, something simple, they can grab the t-shirt. If they're willing to shell out a little bit more for the complicated design, they can grab a hoodie. The front's gonna have a little embroidered detail and the print will be on the back, but then for the t-shirt, the print will be on the front. It looks a little different than it was in the last clip, but it is done. Um, I think it's pretty cute. It's like different from, hello. When I design apparel, I prefer to design stuff that is stuff that I would actually wear. <laughs> but the trouble is, is I only wear black, white, gray, and red, and that limits my ability to explore any sort of design frankly so while this goes against my personal instincts i do think it's super cute hopefully other people will too i think i'm gonna skip doing the sweatshirt that i mentioned earlier only because i have to charge like almost a hundred dollars retail price just to be able to afford because the print on demand oh yeah let's talk about that. So the print on demand service that I use is called Printful. It is really good. I've used it for, I believe, three years in a row now for my Meowloween event, which is like a Halloween cat themed apparel drop that I do every year. And the benefit to print on demand is that I don't need to keep stock. So what I do is I put the listings up and then people buy and then I basically order on their behalf individual articles of clothing that are sent out from Printful. They're literally like, they, they make it for that person and send it out for me. The plus sides to doing that is that I don't have to have any stock on hand. It means no upfront cost for me and I'm not at risk of ever selling out of anything, but there are some downsides. The main one being that the cost per item ends up being so much higher. Like 
like five times the cost of having it produced in a mass production situation. So for example, the sweatshirts that I was looking at offering are 40 USD cost plus tax plus shipping, which means just to order the custom printed garment and send it to the customer would be out of pocket like about 65 US dollars. So in order to turn any sort of profit on something like that, I have to charge $85, so I get $20 from that, and then the company gets $65. So you see, it's not the ideal solution. If you do have the ability to order stuff up front, you're gonna make a lot more money off of that product than the other way around, but yeah. Plus and minus, it really depends on what your goals are and how much work you wanna put into fulfilling your product launches. So for something like this, where I'm doing this limited edition, I don't know if anyone's gonna buy it. It's just kind of like, it's super easy for me to throw the design together, to put together a mock-up, and then to list it in my shop and make those individual purchases when um, someone wants one. You are so cute. You just put on a little show. I don't mind. Aww, baby boy. So yeah, the design is done. I'll finish the mock-ups now. I will get it ready to list in my shop. I don't know if I'm gonna put it up there right away. Um, I haven't exactly decided a plan yet because <laughs> I have to coordinate this stuff with social media announcements and I don't always, oh, biting? Ow, ouchie, Nori. Sir, have mercy. Ow, baby, please, stop it. Okay, mm-hmm. I have to coordinate these sorts of announcements with social media posting, which means I have to prep posts and have it like be posted on a good day and at a good time and just... My enthusiasm for that has been tanking lately, so I'm just gonna get it ready so that whenever I feel like announcing it and putting it up for sale, I can. And there you have it. It's as easy as one, two, three. I'll zhuzh these up a little bit so that when I'm posting them to my store and social media, they don't look like I downloaded them directly from the website, which is exactly what they look like right now. I did decide to do one with the black background and one with the pale blue background. That way people can decide if they're feeling goth or not this month. And what I'll do is I'll order one of the black ones for myself and it honestly takes like less than a week usually for them to get to me. So I should have time if I am proactive to take my own photos and put them in the listing so people know exactly what to expect from the product. Oh, also I should let you know that the uh, hourly comics have been going well. It's 5.30 now, so I'm over halfway through the day, and it's boring as hell, but you know, that's what happens when you hang out at home all day, all the time. For the rest of the evening, I am going to finish up those sticker sheets. They are here, waiting patiently to be addressed. Uh, there's not much I need to do aside from add the, these are four by six right now, I need to add about a half an inch, no. I need to add a quarter of an inch of bleed around the outsides and then make sure that the files are ready to send to print. And I'm also gonna reorder some other stuff, so I'll just go through my files and make sure I have everything I need for that. But I'm pretty sure at this point, I will see you guys tomorrow.
here they are, my beautiful lunch boxes for January. Almost done. Uh, I obviously still have to seal and stamp all of these, and this is only the first half. I still have uh, about a hundred more to do that are the big lunch boxes, which will include the prints and the extra stickers and yada yada, but I am glad to have this mostly done uh, on the second of the month, so a little ahead of the game there, which is awesome. That is going to be it for me today here on this week's studio vlog. Thank you for joining me one more time on my channel. I'll be back next Sunday with more sweet, sweet content for you. Now, if you made it all the way to the end, you know what to do. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and leave a comment. I love your feedback. It's so meaningful to me and it's what's keeping me coming back to YouTube week after week. I don't have a comment prompt for you this week, so just tell me about your pets. That sounds great. Honestly, I wish you could link pictures down in the comments because you know I'm all about that. But otherwise, catch you next time, guys. Bye!